It does look cool. This looks like something Batman would have in his cave. It is nice. It could protect Gotham, no doubt. Membership cafe. There's the worst. Billionaire plans to take submersible to Titanic nearly one year after Ocean Gate implosion. Larry O'Connor, Ohio businessman and billionaire, told told Wall Street Journal last week about his plans to prove that a dive to the Titanic wreckage site can be done safely when proper engineering is employed. Shortly after news broke in 2023 of Titan's suspected implosion, Connor called up Triton submarine CEO Patrick Leahy, who had publicly criticized Ocean Gate safety practices and called its CEO predatory and insisted they could and should make something better. Well, that's, that's definitely a good start. But also, you don't, you don't need to go see the Titanic wreckage. It's not something you should do, but it is something you could. Like, you can do that. But why? You don't you don't need to. Like it's not like it's humanity's obligation to have some mercibles go see the Titanic whenever we want. Thanks a membership, Brandon. <laughs> the ocean needs more sacrifices. Yeah, to keep the Atlanteans satiated. Connor said, you know what we need to do is build a sub that can dive to titanic level depths repeatedly and safely and demonstrate to the world that you guys can do that and that titan was a contraption. Yeah, but like, why? Like, everyone knows we can. We could absolutely make that. The, the reason this happened is because it was a fucking doohickey. Ocean Gate created a goddamn fucking gizmo that was not at all equipped to handle that kind of pressure. And it was operated by... A very less than optimal pilot for it. But we all know you can. You don't need to prove it. it like, it's, it's like he took it personal. He saw that the submersible imploded and he fucking threw his arms up and he went, Damn it! He ruined our reputation. That son of a bitch. I never had a favorite character, Laura. I just really liked Beast Wars. We'll go over the San Diego police guy in a moment. That one's fucking degenerate. Connor and Triton subs did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Here's what we know so far about the newest Titanic-bound submersible. Larry Connor is an entrepreneur and founder of the Connor Group, a luxury real estate company based in Dayton, Ohio. His net worth is $2 billion, and the real estate portfolio is worth $5 billion. He's a known explorer, having previously voyaged to Mariana Trench in the International Space Station. Holy shit. And he told news outlets he wants to prove that a deep sea submersible can be made safely and such a trip can be done without disaster. Yeah, we know. Again, you, you don't have to prove yourself. I don't know why he took that guy's death so personally. Like it was a blemish on his own personal exploration record. Thanks, Risa, Nathan, and Emily, and Omnipresence, and the membership. Chumastly. And the membership monk. Any plans for more commander games? Yep, yeah, there's going to be a lot more commander games. Very, very many more. Links to resub parts. Check out the submersible he's writing in. It's called the Triton 4002 4, Abyssal Explorer, and it looks straight out of Subnautica. Let me take a peek. That's that's a great name. That sounds like it's ready to fucking fight the Kraken. Oh, we can talk about that Lego set, actually. Give me a minute, Alinder. I did see it. So is this the concept art, or is it actually made? I think over time, Stockton just realized that the only way... Uh, we were going to be able to help humanity unlock the secrets of the ocean was to get past the regulations and just prove that it could be done uh, as safely as possible. What happened on June 18th may have proved something very different. Stockton Rush, CEO of Ocean Gate Expeditions, piloted a submersible Whoa, wait, Titan really, Mr. on a mission H, I'll to check view the wreck out. of the Titanic. Hours later, the Titan pilot the of here. the deep ocean are made. So I'm guessing that's just the concept right now. It does look cool. This looks like something Batman would have in his cave. 
It is nice. It could protect Gotham, no doubt. So what is it called? The Rally? Okay, I'll check it out. And then I'll bring up the Lego set. Connor told Wall Street Journal he'll be working with Triton Submarines, a company that builds submersibles for sea exploration at various depths. The trip will be the Triton 4002 Abyss Explorer with a $20 million price tag. The two-person craft is described on Triton's website as the world's deepest diving acrylic sub, boasting the ability to descend over 13,000 feet. Leahy, the CEO, co-founded Triton with the now-retired Bruce Jones, the former, who, the former of whom plans to accompany Connor on his mission. Patrick has been thinking about and designing this for over a decade, but we didn't have the materials and technology. You couldn't have built this sub five years ago. I feel like I could build that. Maybe not out of the same material, but Legos, perhaps. It's a cool-looking design. What does it use? Fucking adamantium? What did, what did we not have five years ago? I don't see anything about its materials. Did I miss it? Or maybe, oh, maybe it's like a secret. They have to keep the materials a secret. It uses new elements that haven't yet been revealed to the public. Fucking meteorite metal. Thanks to Prime Kiernan. Hey, congrats on the apartment, Cactus. More info on their website, on Triton's website. All right, let me take a peek. <clears throat> oh, I even got it. Like butterfly doors. Well, well, never mind. I'm a fucking idiot. Those weren't the doors. Those were like the wings opening. All right. Let's see what we got. Let me let me take a peek at the blueprints. I'll go ahead and confirm whether or not this will survive the journey. I'm quite the engineer myself. While diving, the protected gull wing design provides an unrivaled versatility of operation. With the wings retracted, the submersible is streamlined for ascent and descent and capable of maneuvering around incredibly tight spaces. The low placement of the lighting and cameras is ideal for macro work, scientific observation, or closed filming. With the wings partially deployed, the Triton Abyssal Explorer Silent Glide feature enables the submersible to track objects, maintain a heading, and glide towards points of interest without engaging it's eight direct drive thrusters. But what is it made out of? Here we go. Nope, this is different. This is the direct dive. Boring! Don't care. I want to learn more about the Triton 4002. Just keep saying it's an acrylic sub. Hey, hey. Say what you will about the Ocean Gate guy, but at least he was very transparent with the materials it uses. It used bubble gum, scrap metal, and a little bit of plywood. And you know what? Didn't pan out super well, but at least he told us what it was made out of. He gave us the recipe. These guys are keeping it to themselves. It's very selfish. And a Logitech controller. And a Logitech controller. Super true. Super true. Oh, wait. Oh, this is just the same thing. It's just it's different modes. I thought this was like a different model. Because they said the Blue Planet 2 here, and I was like, oh, okay, it must be about the Blue Planet 2. But no, this is all just the different modes. Here we go. Flexible architecture. The electrical and mechanical systems on the Triton 4002 Abyssal Explorer have been specifically designed for flexibility integration of, mis of mission-specific equipment. Ample available penetrations, flexible electronic bays, gas and hydraulic connections, and multiple hard mounting points allow up to 500 kilograms of your equipment to be integrated with and controlled from within the submersible. The sub's generous payload and flexible electronic setting oh, still doesn't tell me what it's made out of them. Why are they trying to sell me on it? I'm not buying it. Is this going to be, like, commercially available for 20 mil a pop? Ah, uh, here we go. The technical specification... These mean nothing to me. The variable ballast 250L. You got it. <laughs> I know not what these words mean. Only that they are words. Well, I mean, I know what height and weight means. 